Now, you will, my name is Elliot Trulove, and I'm going to show you how to make this, essentially. You can use, you can type in anything you want, but I'll show you the steps in order to do this. Uh, you are going to need the Kingdom Hearts font, and I'm sure many of you are acquainted with that. If you have already downloaded, you've probably seen this. It's a much more detailed and uh, elaborate version of it. Now, you will need the Kingdom Heart, the KH Heart um, .eps fold file in the link below. Uh, going to File New and making it 700 by 500. And make the title of it uh, Elliot True Love. We'll, we'll make it your whatever you're going to make it, of course. Um, go up to press OK. And it Make a text box. Now go up to the top and select King. Type in Kingdom Hearts. I am actually going to use Kingdom Hearts um, small caps of a font I made that's not available to the unpaying public. Essentially, uh, it's better font. Um, and type my name, Elliot True Love. Uh, yeah, and um, I will go into the character box and type in negative 35 that will so that will shorten it a lot and the e i will put to negative 75 because it's a wide letter and that'll like um, shorten everything up so i'll center a line and create outlines and then go up and make it a, a compound path and give it a gradient now we're going to make the bottom gradient pay okay, watch closely choose like a charcoal gray for this and then I you know at that point make a make it about black Pull that one up to about 40. So this will be the one we mainly see. Duplicate the layer. Make it a white to black gradient. Or an off white to black gradient with the black being at around 75. Now we're going to change the... Now what we're going to do is... We're going to, we're going to make a stroke next. Um... Let's go back into the appearance and go up to stroke and make it a black or a white stroke rather at 1.5 and if your stroke box looks like this uh, go over to the options show options and change the miter limit to 15 and change it to outside that thingy. You wouldn't be able to click that if it was regular text, sadly. Um, duplicate that through, I mean, twice. Uh, go to the bottom text layer and, uh, I mean, yeah, the bottom stroke layer and make it a ch black at four point and the top one quarter point uh, and change the stroke to about to, yeah, to center point. Now this, now make the new, no, now transform, you go to filter transform, preview, and make that two and negative two. Now as we're waiting for that, you know, let's, now let's, um, you know, let's type that in. And next what we will do is we will go Zoom in and check this out. Uh, this is the U, my U I created in the font. Um, it doesn't quite do the prop, do it properly, uh, do a proper point. So just click the convert anchored point and click that, and it should make a good point there. Um, next, let's. Oh yeah, let's let's go into the kingdom, the khheart.eps, and just pull pull it over for now. Uh, Let's pull it into the our 
document here. We're not going to necessarily use it as of right now. Uh, we'll use it later, but, but put it into its place. Put it put it into its proper place uh, as for now, and um, put it to the back, and you know, just hide it for now. But so what we should do now is duplicate the compound path, and in the appearance tab, delete everything except for the four point outside stroke. And it, what you will end up with here is, uh, yeah, just just minus that out. And uh, what what you should do now is go to compound. I mean, not the compound path. Expand appearance and expand, uh, and then click Pathfinder. You can find this in also in the window and you click Pathfinder. It's not Nissan. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, and you, if you click those two buttons, you know the first that bottom the button and then the other button, you will have a full black. Uh, make it a compound path uh, and put that underneath the other one and you have full black underneath. Uh, looks actually really good when it's done. Um, and it creates a nice thing to put on top of it. Now with that, make a white um, stroke at two point and duplicate that and take the bottom one and make that a grayish stroke gray stroke at four point now on to the heart let's get this heart done oh screw up crap I just screwed up that um yeah so let's see what we can do here we're going to make the fill as a well, we're, we're going to make it a gradient first of all, and we're going to go from gradient to we're going to go from a darkish gray to a lightish gray, um, and then we're obviously going to change that to ninety. Um, yeah, then we're going to go into the appearance, make the stroke, make it a medium gray. Change that to one, I mean rather two, and make that inside go up to the appearance tab again and go to the FX, go down to texture, or uh, yeah, go green. Then uh, intensity eight and contrast thirty. Press OK. That will make your once it loads. That will make it be texturized. Have a nice green texture to it. Um, and then. From here, what we'll do is we will select the bottom to the compound path at the bottom and the heart and duplicate them. Now, as we wait, we're, we're, we're waiting for it to regrain on these duplicates. Minus that out. Uh, yeah, these two duplicates. What we will do is we'll delete all the appearances of the heart because that will screw us up. So now that that now that that's deleted, we can do expand appearance and expand on both of them. And we can go over to the color and just, I don't know, make it just straight black for all of them. And click that middle button and this button. And what we have now is a black outline. Uh, so create a stroke of about six. 
I will make that will make sure it's touching and we will do um, yes make that 30 make the miter 30 so that we can point have a point there go up to expand and yeah expand that and then you click those two buttons again and that will get rid of the white thing there and we'll be left with all we have left to do is just to drag that lo layer lower underneath the heart and we have now the completed logo of Elliot, of Elliot True Love with a heart or whatever you whatever you chose to do uh, just center it somewhat and I mean that's that's pretty much it you know you can save it and uh, that is the, my tutorial that's pretty much it if you want to add any other elements you can and I would pretty much encourage it actually um, this it's all about innovation oh and also Please, if you could donate, this would, I would greatly appreciate it because this took a while for me to make, and I know everybody's going to benefit from this. I've got I have received barely any money from the for my Kingdom Hearts font uh, or my Warcraft font, uh, Lifecraft as it's known, and the tutorial that's on DeviantArt. So if you could do that, I would very much appreciate it, and thank you, and have a great day, and uh, hopefully you can use this.